Hey guys, welcome to the video today. We're back at the Disneyland Resort and we actually have a reservation for Disneyland today. And man, check out these lines. Look at that. DCA, Disneyland. It's gonna be one of those days again. So last time we had lines like this, I ended up going through the monorail, but I think I'm gonna skip that today and just wait in line. All right guys, and about like 15 minutes later, we got inside the park. I think like usual, we're gonna walk around the park and see if there's anything new. So I wanted to go to the Emporium first, but we have two minutes until they open. It's about to be rope drop right now. Um, just in case you guys are here for like rope drop and you guys want to go check out some of the stores, you can check out Disney Showcase. They're open and then same with the Mad Hatter. And it looks like also 20th Century Music Company is open as well. Welcome to Disneyland. All of us here at the it's happening. place on Earth are delighted to have you as our guest today. In just a moment, we invite you to get your ears on and begin your adventure as you explore Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. For of course, we're not trying to get anywhere else in the park right now. We're trying to head to the Emporium. So we just got inside the Emporium and I was looking at the It's a Small World Mickey Mouse Main Attraction merchandise and it looks like the last ride bag still has not arrived. So they have tons of the plush, but no bag. I don't even think they have the ears right now. I think they're sold out. And then over here in the Turning Red merchandise, you remember I showed you guys that water bottle with like the carrying case? I think those are sold out as well. They were here and now they're gone. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say the only new thing in here is this Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage pin celebrating the 15th anniversary. So sadly there wasn't a whole lot going on in the Emporium so we ended up crossing the street over here at 20th Century Music Company to show you guys that Finding Nemo pin again. I like showing you guys the pins from here because they're outside and the lighting is a lot better. But here's a closer look at that pin. Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. 15th anniversary this one is 19.99 so I was looking at the pin again and I noticed that look Nemo actually moves back and forth that's cool so I was doing a quick walkthrough of the China closet and I noticed this Thor water bottle check this out and then on the side or the back it says mighty and then this one is 27.99 this is cool. I like the blue. It's nice. Here comes some of the Main Street vehicles. That's so cool. But anyways, we ended up checking a few other stores on Main Street and there was nothing else new except for the water bottle and then that new pin I showed you guys. Oh cool, look. Kiss FM's here. They're setting up right now. So we're in Tomorrowland now, and I actually went to the Star Trader already, but there was like absolutely nothing new in there, so I didn't even bother filming. Um, I do want to say, though, that they have that Marvel baseball jersey again, if you guys are looking for that. And I think they go from an extra small to a 3X. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I'm watching you. I didn't do anything. Good. <laughs> I love Stormtroopers. They're the best. So just in case you never had a chance to buy the Elliot Popcorn Bucket, they have them back in stock over here in Tomorrowland. Although, with this one, if you buy it here, if you won't get popcorn, you'll get cotton candy. See, you get it with cotton candy, and in case you're wondering, looks like it's $35. Limit two per person. You know, I find it a little unfortunate that we have a brand new pin to celebrate this ride, and it's not even open. So it's been about 30 minutes since the last time I updated you guys in the video. Uh, so we've gone through Fantasyland, we went through Galaxy's Edge, we went to Pooh Corner, and there's nothing new. Uh, it's a very, very slow day today at the park. Like, even so much so, like, let me show you guys how slow it is today. So it is such a slow day that, like, Haunted Match is a walk-on right now. And then over here in the New Orleans Square area, you can see the floor. And I say that because usually there's so many people walking through here, you can't see the ground. You can barely walk through here and look, it's all open. Even down there, look, it's all open. Very slow day. All right guys, we, know we just made our way back to the hub and right about now we'd be like ending the video, but because this video is so short, I think we're gonna do something you usually do. We're gonna head to World of Disney and uh, see if there's anything new over there. Just so that this video can be a little more fun because I feel like the park was just not that eventful for today, but um, I think, like I said, we're gonna head there next. All right guys, we left Disneyland and now we're here at World of Disney. So we're here in the new emo section and it looks like they got some of the Pride collection in. They have the... Uh, like the jumpsuit. Happy 
And then they have the overalls. I believe these are also $12.99. And then looks like that's about it. Looks like, it. looks like they don't have the spirit jersey or the lounge fly bag. Wait, so they actually did have the Disneyland spirit jersey. I believe it's $21.99. And then they do have the lounge fly as well. $21.99. So as I showed you guys earlier when I was in Disneyland, at the Emporium, it looks like they sold out of the It's a Spar World ears for the Mickey Mouse main attraction, but they have tons of them here at World of Disney. So it looks like they have the ears, plush, key, and pin. Sadly, uh, they haven't received the launch fly bag either. It seems like no park or anywhere around the Disneyland Resort has received the launch fly bag yet, but hopefully soon. So uh, one thing that's different about buying any of these items here at World of Disney versus like the Emporium or anywhere else in the park, uh, is that you actually have to go behind the cash registers to buy it. And in case you're wondering, uh, to buy any of that stuff, you have to go to the registers by the entrance. And then over here in the Turning Red merchandise, looks like they have the night light that I showed you guys the other day inside the parks. They have the journal, the fuzzy one, and then they even have like this fuzzy water bottle holder with the water bottle. This is actually sold out in the Emporium. I showed you guys earlier, but they have tons of them here at World of Disney. And then something that's new here that I haven't seen before, is this friendship bracelet kit Let me see if I can slide this out show you guys the whole the whole kit it's pretty cool in case you guys are interested in the friendship bracelet kit it is $19.99 and then here in the Star Wars section, it looks like they got that new lounge fly bag that I showed you guys the other day at the Star Trader. It's got all the vintage action figures on there, front and back. This one is $75. And they even have that new Disney exclusive concept Darth Vader Funko Pop. This one is, I think it's $14.99. I feel like I've never seen this plush before, but here in room 5 in the Stitch section, they have this Lilo and Stitch plush. Looks like they're drinking from a coconut. And this plush is to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Lilo and Stitch. In case you're interested, this one is $39.99. And then on the tag itself, it says that it's a limited release. Alright guys, but anyways, that's basically it for World of Disney. I guess well, there wasn't a whole lot going on inside of World of Disney, so we ended up just leaving. But they are doing something kind of cool, and I'm glad they're doing it. So you guys know how like World of Disney is like a one-way in and one-way out type of store? Well, now they're allowing people to go in through the exit and exit through the entrance, if that makes any sense. So for the longest time, this side was the entrance, and that side was the exit. They don't really use like this middle entrance exit area right here, but now they're allowing people to enter exit on this side and enter and exit on this side but they're just testing it out so it's only uh, certain days so since they're still like testing it all out uh they're doing it like on monday through thursday so monday through thursday they're allowing people to enter through the exit and exit through the entrance and then on the weekend they're still doing it like a one way where you can only enter that way and then exit over here which makes sense because of like how many people en end up coming here on the weekend so because of crowding they're doing it for that reason but Anyways, thank you for the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.